Well, this is part of a series of bugs I have known and loved. Uh, the history of the ARPANET, uh, the internet really started with the ARPANET, and the very first ARPANET uh, packet was sent between UCLA and Stanford Research Institute. Turns out a good friend of mine, Bill Duvall, was the engineer at SRI who uh, was on one end of the sending packet. And the packet was a login sent over a uh, packet switching network uh, from SRI to UCLA. Uh, this is well documented. It was October 29th, 1969, I believe. Uh, you can read about it in Wikipedia. What you won't read is that this packet failed. And it failed, it crashed one of the systems. And the reason it failed was one of the systems was expecting carriage return line feed, and the other was expecting EOL as a line terminator. So this bug has been with us since the very first internet packet, and it still bugs uh, lots of systems today. One of the jobs I had at Stanford Research Institute was doing the layout software for the ARPANET directory. Uh, this is a later version. I actually did the software for the very first version, but this is a directory of all internet users, uh, ARPANET users at the time. Every single user that had a login on any machine is in this uh, uh, directory, and it has their email and their organization, and uh, this was a 1982 version. I believe I did the first one published by the Network Information Center at SRI in 1978. It was much thinner. Uh, here's uh, actually it has uh, some maps, interesting maps here. If you can uh, see this, this was the internet uh, in 1982. All of the nodes of the ARPANET.